now as we begin this uh, the last of our UK versus France fights. There's that leg Ooh. kick that John Cavanaugh uh, spoke very, about. And indeed, uh, a very quick exchange of kicks there. Fernandez very uh, very good to get out of the way of that, but unfortunately he doesn't get away with that second one. And a sharp, stinging kick to the inside of the fight. Both men a little tentative, feeling each other out. Pulling guard Fernandez. It is a um, it is a technique you see often employed by Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu stylists. Pulling guard. Well, absolutely. If you like to play in the ground, if you like to play guard, then uh, you t take him where you're strong. I think uh, Fernandez is confident in his grappling ability and is confident that he's going to be able to get the submission from his back. Now Olivia showing good posture here. He's uh, got his head high. And he's um, got his elbows in tight. And now uh, Fernandez is uh, he's holding on to his wrist. And he's looking for submission there. Opening up to try and go for maybe a triangle or an armbar, but Olivier doing well and defending that and standing out of it. Well, we also saw what might make the difference in this fight: striking on the ground, something that uh, Fernandez isn't used to. So uh, if Robbie can take advantage of that fact, uh, he can he can take this fight. Certainly. Now, uh, obviously, Fernandez taking the fight where he wanted it to be. Uh, Olivia was trying to hunt him down, and uh, off the back foot, uh, Fernandez dropped for a shoot. Manages to get the fight where he wants it. He gets it back on the floor, dumping Olivia on his head there, trying to pass the guard. Olivia's working his guard fantastically, isn't he, Dara? Uh, he seems to have improved his guard quite a bit. Uh, this is this is uh, the one of the best performances we've seen from Robbie off his back. Now this is fantastic. When we see the little guys fight like this, you know, the lightweights, it really is amazing because the pace of the match is, uh, is, is, is often quite frenetic at times, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, we see speed and technique. They, they can't rely on strength as much as the bigger guys. Yeah, and, not. Uh, well, Fernandez dropping in with a uh, sharp left to the body of, uh, of Olivier there. Olivier fighting off his back. And Fernandez not moving away to allow Olivier to stand. So I think he would prefer it if Olivier <laughs> kept uh, down there Absolutely. on his back. Fernandez wants to keep him on the ground, so... Uh, He's, he's working well though, so you know the referee will not restart them because you know as long Olivia as Fernandez keeps the pressure on, um, the referee won't stand them back up. Indeed, well Fernandez gives him a bit of space and uh, Olivia takes it immediately. He stands as quickly as possible. Again, some she, uh, uh, tentative she, feeling. Out. Oh, no, it's it's really really right. to the base, but uh, it's a little attack. Now you can see, uh, you see Fernandez going for a sweet throw there. Once uh, again, uh, Fernandez pulls guard. Uh, He's in the I don't clinch. think he's going to take down Olivia. Olivia was such a strong judo background, she's going to be very aware of those takedowns. So I think his only hope to get the fight on the floor is to, uh, is to get it that way, and that's jumping guard. Well, Fernandez also uh, has a judo background, so uh, a little bit of clinch work might be interesting to see between these two guys. Of course, now uh, Olivia, you can see he's very focused on top, looking down at his opponent, freeing that arm up and coming down with a nice strike. He's putting the pressure on. Yes, Fernandez see, Abraham is hunting for that submission, and isn't he? Hunt for the armbar, but Olivier White to it just keeps throwing the strikes and keeps his elbows in. Fernandez showing uh, showing the real dangerous tactics here. He's uh, closing down those arms and constantly hunting for something. But Olivier showing good submission defence, keeping his elbows in tight, not extending his arms out and allowing uh, Fernandez to grab hold of anything. Well, you lose a couple of times by submission, and uh, your training there is going to change focus. You uh, you don't want to lose it again. Certainly, you can see Fernandez working the open guard as opposed to the close guard. Close guard is when you have your legs wrapped around the person's torso and your feet crossed at the back. Open guard is when you have your feet in his uh, hips or uh, using it. Looks like he's hunting for a triangle here. It does, but Olivier, oh, Olivier, he may he's have that. One arm, he's hunting the triangle. Certainly. Yeah, he's Olivier to slamming him, but as we saw earlier on, if you slam that triangle, Sometimes then you could make it deeper. He doesn't seem to have pulled the arm in long enough, but, uh, Indeed, but he's working Fernandez it. is he's climbing, working. he's looking to get it, he's uh, slowly working that inch by inch to try and tighten that in. Olivia doing the right thing by sitting back and trying to keep his head high, but it may just be a matter of time. He's got that elbow across and he taps. Once again, you see uh, the value of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and mixed martial arts. Indeed we do. A disappointing loss for Olivia. That is another submission loss to a reputable Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu player. But uh, a huge bonus for Emmanuel Fernandes. It's a uh, it's MMA debut in the UK and he wins it in style. A very impressive debut for Emmanuel Fernandes. Against one of the toughest UK lightweights. Again, we see the respect here among competitors. Robbie... Uh, Drawing attention to the to, to the winner and uh, Emmanuel, he raises Robbie's arm because he came out there and he gave him a tough fight. Here we have the finish. As you see, he works the he works for the triangle. The moment he gets a chance, he closes the leg. He takes his time. Robbie picks him up. Uh, he keeps working. You know, he shows uh, well excellent abdominal strength to keep himself up there. 
He doesn't let the slam phase and he keeps working on that arm. At this point the arm is still a little loose. But uh, Emmanuel keeps working it. He's, he's trying to work an arm right there but it looks at things and trying to see in the moment those legs he inside. reaches up with his hand and you can see him just inching that leg over the top of his ankle and uh, it's quite that choke in. Well inch by inch he'll take the triangle, he reaches up with his hand, he pulls down with his leg, he do, just takes his time, shows the patience that uh, we come to expect from um, grapplers such as Emmanuel Fernandez. Now, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is often called the game of inches, Darry, and that uh, inches really do count for this sport. I mean, you know, the submission can be on, but if it's half an inch off, there is absolutely no effect. Well, as we saw there, I mean, uh, Robbie was able to sit up, uh, show his posture.